Hey, what's up guys? It's Strategies Destiny and welcome to my top 10 tips for the Vermintide 2 expansion Woods of Magic. So the bad news is guys is that this video may be a bit redundant compared to my previous videos but the good news is is that my new tips, I will still have new tips in this video that I have not mentioned before. Um, and I will be mentioning those video those tips first so you guys won't want to click away so without further ado guys let's get straight into the video alright guys so the first tip is to not solo weave um, which are these game modes right which is the the levels right here for the weave game mode um, because it would be very difficult overall because just like any other level you're trying to solo there's gonna be a point where they get way too strong for one person overall um like or you can have that one time like me where i had got jumped by two assassins at once and then of course once you get killed by those um uh special once you get attacked by those special type enemies like a leech or an assassin you really can't it's impossible for you to get away from it unless your teammate saves you um, so then you're basically dead. Um, I'm not telling you guys not to do it. Um, in, if you guys want the challenge, that's fine. But for for um, people that um, who don't want to, um, who want, who are uh, no, casual players like me, just don't solo weave. Get a four-player party if you can, or as many as possible. Alright guys, so this is going to be the most important tip so far guys, which is the legendary missions that um, you see here with these helmets. Um, do not complete them um, on legendary difficulty until you've actually um, bought the expansion, because if you do it before you bought the expansion, the only way to unlock Cataclysm difficulty is to replay these missions. Um, I haven't, and I realize that guys, and I'm, I'm probably not even going to do Cataclysm difficulty um, at this point, because then I have to replay through all these missions on Legend, these four missions, which is going to take forever, honestly. So yeah, definitely... Um, do not play these missions and complete them on legendary difficulty until you bought the expansion. Alright guys, I've got two tips coming your way, so let's get right into those two tips. So the first one is a quick tip. There's no point on me demonstrating it, so because it's um, pretty simple. Just trust me on it, is that not only can you melee attack the Beastman banner to destroy it, but you can also range attack it. I tried it with my sniper rifle as um this um as kruber so yeah you can uh range attack as well and i'm going to explain what um these traits here they're fixed bonuses and are more extensive than properties um yeah um but the cool thing about it is that as you can see like resourceful combat and or opportunist parry they're all legendary traits that was randomized in the normal Vermintide 2 mode so this time guys you basically instead of getting a random trade with the legendary gear you used to get in those randomized chest system now you can actually well once you get the different get more unlock more traits you can actually choose which one of those traits you get isn't that cool so yes it's more customized customizable that way so just keep that also in mind all right guys i've got another two tips for you guys so let's get right into those two tips so the first tip is reading the patch notes for the new enemies added for the winds of magic expansion because it'll help you complete the Dark Omens, the new adventure level, and all the other levels in Vermintide 2. Because since they're going to definitely be adding these new enemies, it's good to know what you're going up against. And also, read um, these specific patch notes about the design changes. Reduce talent tier 6 level requirement from to 30 instead of 
from level 35, which is definitely going something good to know. Um, and the fact that this magic amulet um, is shared across all heroes and careers. Um, which is this one over here for the Weaves game mode that is also important to note as well. Alright guys, got two tips coming your way. Alright, so our my first tip here is that you should um, climb, get it, the hero that you like playing up to level 31st since the expansion allows your hero is to climb to level 35 which is the next highest level or else um, I'd say it's a waste because and you're just wasting your time getting up to level 30 even though the expansion is really meant for you to get up to level 35 so my next tip after that is that if I didn't I've said this many times before for all heroes in general when you're enter first enter the weaves mode if you don't like the two free forges you get at the beginning for the weapon uh, if it's not if they're not the weapons that don't match your playstyle don't upgrade it don't waste your essence already forge the weapons you enjoy playing first for that hero all right guys my final tip technically i'm gonna have a little extra at the end it's not really a tip but it's something that i just found out after my two day after my like week playing through this i can't believe it took me this long to notice both of these things all right so um, if to get your specific weapon, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the patch notes, you'll see that they're, they add five new weapons like the throwing axes for Bard and Marcus's Kru Marcus Kruber's Heavy Spear and Victor Salt Spire's Bill Hook if you want that. Go to Aukri's Challenges, go to Challenges, go to Heroes, go to the specific hero um, that you want the specific want the wins of magic weapon form in this case Marcus Kruber and then it's right there just complete dark omens first and just a little extra um, thing here if you want to get a nice good old shortcut to where to the winds of magic expansion area where you upgrade your Athenor and do the weaves and all that fun stuff just do go press E there that I just demonstrated and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video guys leave um, a comments on what you thought of this video um, I would definitely want to make improvements to guides or top 10 tips videos like these leave a like if you enjoyed and if um, if you enjoy my content please consider subscribing it's the bottom right hand corner here or the top left over here and and uh, turn on the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.